Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to sew the Sophia top, which is a mix and match pattern. That means this top actually gives you six different options based on the neckline and the back that you choose. And in case you're new to my store, Effortless Patterns focuses on easy and beginner friendly sewing patterns that are modern. And the best part, most of these patterns can actually be sewn in two to three hours. When you purchase any of my patterns, you're gonna get a PDF file with very detailed instructions. You'll also get sustainability recommendations for the fabric that you can choose and a printing guide. Because my patterns function with layers, as you can see here. This will make it much easier for you to print this pattern and cut it. In order to print this, do not forget to scale it to 100%. I often get questions on this, so do not forget to do this. After you print out this pattern, please take a look at the test square that's on page one of this pattern. This is important to make sure you have the right scale as I show here in this video. After you're printing this pattern, you need to cut it out. So I typically just use scissors. This pattern is fairly easy, very small, so it only has three pages, which makes it very fast to cut it. In the end, I also tape those pieces together. And for this example, I'm using two options for the Sophia top, so you can see both ways. After cutting the pattern pieces, I'm going to cut the fabric. For any of the things that you're seeing on this video, you can also check down in the description below because I have an Amazon storefront where you can find all of the items. The fabric that I'm using here is heavy and stretch, a 10 curl spandex and it's medium weight. I like to order my fabrics from a store called Nature's Fabrics because they're focusing on sustainability and they have tons of great options if you're looking for a stretch fabric. I'm not getting commission from them, but I'm linking the store down below anyways. For this pattern, you will need four pieces total, two front pieces and two back pieces, as I'm showing here. Before we start with the sewing, please make sure to pin both the front pieces and the back pieces together when the right sides are facing each other. This will make sure that everything will stay in place and you're sewing it the right way. Then, when both front and back pieces are pinned together, we are going to sew the necklines first. I'm using my serger here, but you can also just use your regular sewing machine with a zigzag or any other stretch stitch. After the necklines are finished, we're going to sew the armholes and the bottom piece. Also, just an FYI, I am using a white thread just because I want to make sure that you see where I'm sewing. If I was not filming a tutorial, I would pick a thread that's much darker and matches the fabric. And make sure you're sewing this for both the front and the back pieces. What's next is we're turning the front piece inside out. That means the right side will face you, but only for the front piece. Next up, we are inserting the front piece into the back piece, so both of the right sides are facing each other. This can be a bit tricky and can take a while, but it's very important to make sure all the seams align perfectly. And while you're doing this, also make sure that you're stitching everything in place so nothing is moving when you're sewing later. Now that everything is pinned together, we're sewing the side pieces and the straps together. As a last step, we're using a seam ripper to open a tiny hole at the bottom of the piece because we need to turn our top inside out again. And when you turn it inside out, do not forget to either hand sew or use your regular sewing machine to close the hole on the bottom. And we're done with the top. 
I hope you enjoyed and let me know if you have any feedback.